It's finally here, Racer fans. Basketball season has officially begun. We had a chance to sit down with head coach Matt McMahon to talk about the upcoming season. We don't talk about winning the West or winning the OVC or going to the NCAA tournament. Uh, we are really just completely sold out to building a team. We have some hungry guys who are really uh, excited about the opportunity to elevate their roles uh, within our program. And then I, I just want our guys sold out to the process of building a team and becoming the best team that we're capable of being. And if we'll sell out to doing those things, controlling the things that we can control, we'll get better as the season goes on and we'll have our opportunities as we get into the conference season. I know I've said it a bunch today, but we only have three players who have played significant minutes in a Murray State jersey, and that's fine. But we're trying to fast track that team chemistry, uh, really teach all of our newcomers what the Murray State culture is all about. Uh, but our whole focus is on becoming the best team that we're capable of becoming all right, with this year's group. G. McGee's um, proven production at the Division One level, a double figure score at Chattanooga. Uh, had a solid sit out year, not great, but solid. But he's really made some great strides in the last month. I'm very proud of the direction he's headed and uh, has really stepped up not only his game, but his leadership. And so I'm pleased with him. Demarcus Croker is an NBA level athlete. Really want him to play with a lot of confidence. He's a guy we're counting on not only to be a good offensive player, but we need him to step up and take the void as a defensive stopper at the other end of the floor. Uh, Bryce Jones, uh, point guard from Jones County. He was our most consistent player on our trip to Canada. I think he's a very talented point guard. Uh, I expect him to have an immediate impact with us. And then A.J. Patty, uh, also a junior at 6'9". Uh, has gotten stronger in the weight room, still has a ways to go there, but he has a high-level skill package uh, will enable us to do some different things offensively because he can shoot the ball from the perimeter. You know, the, the rule changes, you know, they are what they are. I, I think the 30-second shot clock's gotten a lot of the attention. Uh, I think the reduction of timeouts gotten a lot of the attention, but to me, the bigger impact's going to be the emphasis on the elimination of physical play. Uh, and I think it's going to really open up the game uh, for your skilled, quicker guards on the perimeter. It's going to be hard to keep those guys in front. And then your guys who do a nice job moving without the basketball, uh, it's going to open up the game for them because they're trying to eliminate all the grabbing and holding and, and fouling you see away from the ball. For more on Racer Athletics, visit thenews.org or pick up a copy of the news on campus.